Hey guys, welcome back to 5 nothing 100 nothing.com. I am fuck it. And that stands for the fittest underdog guru using intelligent tactics. Today you guys, I'm taking it up a notch. I'm not only doing the video from my car, but I'm doing it while moving. Hmm, which I think might be legal. So I'll keep this on the down low. Um, you might hear a little bit of construction. It's, um, you know, the, more than just the four traditional seasons of uh, spring, summer, winter, fall, we also have construction, which seems to coincide with summer. So things move a little bit slower around here around this time. So anyways, you guys, just want to reach out, touch base. I do not have EV Electro 619 with me today. Um, so I thought I would just get to brass tacks and uh, reach out a little bit, you guys. It's a sunny day, it's beautiful. A good day to get outside, get some cardio in, get out there, you know, do your thing. Um, you don't always have to be in the gym, you know, 365 days a year, depending on where you live in the world. Um, you know, Michigan has a relatively short uh, summer, but it's beautiful when it's nice. And uh, so it's a good time to get out here, at least in this, in my neck of the woods and get it done, you know, get outside. I've been playing a little bit of tennis recently and uh, that's a heck of a workout. It pointed out some uh, shortcomings in my training, which tends to be, or uh, this time it um, seems to be uh, a lack of explosive work. Like whether you're jumping rope or doing sprints or box jumps or anything like that, um, you know, you're pivoting, you're exploding, and uh, getting to the ball and you're, you're more reacting to uh, the environment and uh, chasing after things, you know? So when you're doing like uh, cone drills or things where you go down to a line and back, you know, you still have time where you're anticipating slowing down. So it's not quite, um, it doesn't quite transfer as cleanly as doing real world, you know, activity does. So it, uh, the, the comparison's always made like, somebody who has like you know a bodybuilder's physique but then you get them out on the field or you get them in a game play or something and it doesn't transfer you know they don't have the same skill set as somebody who always plays the game you know um, and the same is true with um, you know I'll run and I'll do weights and everything else but then I get out on the tennis court and all of a sudden I'm like ooh, next day you know my calves are talking to me the bottom of my feet, you know, that um, plantar fascia stuff starts to act up. And then, uh, you know, you realize, wow, you know, there's things I can do to improve my overall game. And, you know, just like my 5 nothing 100 nothing guys, you know, you guys that are looking to improve your game so you're living a higher quality of life, uh, whether it's your personal life and your relationships or whether it's your business, there's always things you can do to improve, to tweak, and, um, you know, there's some people that tell you to just double down on your strengths. And I think in some aspects that's true, especially like in business or when it comes to like talents you have and then you outsource other things. Um, as a person and being well-rounded, it doesn't always work that way, you know, when it comes to dating and or relationships. You know, with that, you know, women are generally looking for the complete package. And so, if you can like round out, like maybe you're not much of a talker and then you learn to like establish rapport with women, no, that's gonna help you a lot if you've got the looks, you know, you're successful in your profession, um, you know, you've just got a way about you that works, then, you know, you're going to, you know, strengthen your, your market value by working on those weaknesses and you know rounding yourself out so to speak and so there's always little things you can do you guys to, to round yourself out and um you know as far as health and fitness you know taking a look at your overall diet you know if your body composition isn't the way you want it right now you know maybe it's too many um adult beverages maybe it's uh, too many carbs you know maybe you're eating too much um simple carbohydrate and you need to step it up and maybe you know, reduce the amount of bread you're eating or maybe eat more vegetables. You know, maybe you're not drinking enough water. You know, there's always something. There's always something to work on. So, you know, take a little inventory. You know, I usually like to do that about every 
eight to 12 weeks where I take a look at my overall diet. How's it working for me? What's my body composition like? Am I as lean as I want to be? Have I smoothed out or now am I getting uh, too lean or starting to like look drawn and not really like the muscles don't look full? There's a lot of little things you can do, you guys, and tweaking your program. Don't be afraid to try something different, you know? Don't like be uh, what I call diet or training ADD where you just always switch something up and always trying to confuse the muscles and whatnot. I think it's just you that's confused. You know, you got to give everything a little bit of time to work and see, you know, put it to the test and see how it works for you. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. All right, guys. So I don't know how this video is going to come out. I'm sorry about the glare of the sun. I'm doing my best. I'm just doing the best I can. So guys, like, share, subscribe, and uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Take care.